couple of topics in the PTI. One of these topics will be the best point guard in the NBA. We'll kick it off here. Peter, best point guard in the NBA. What's your take? My take, Derek Rose from the Chicago Bulls. He has all the elements in his. Well, no, 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 let's hear what you have to say. That, that's ridiculous. He was hurt for the whole year. Rajon Rondo's performance in the playoffs just goes to show. No one likes Rajon Rondo on the Celtics. That's why Ray Allen left. That's one person. Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce have taken him under their wing. No, they can just handle him because Kevin Garnett just has the biggest attitude on the Celtics. And Paul Pierce is the captain. This is, this is besides the point. We're talking about the best point guard in the National Basketball Association. Okay, Derrick Rose has hurt the whole year. Rajon Rondo, 17.3 points per game in the playoffs, 6.8 rebounds, 11.9 assists. Okay, okay, he wait. shot better from the field than Chris Paul and Tony Parker. Okay, what does how, the how what, you, what does the award, can you tell me what this award stands for? MVP. That was last year. Derrick Rose has hurt this whole year. Yeah, and then when and then, and then what? they would have won. They probably would have beat the Sixers. If he was healthy, he just happened to tear his ACL on a fluke. You're play. making a hypothetical situation. This is ridiculous. He's hurt the whole year. How can you say he's the best point guard? All right, all right, all right. We're going to move on. Now we will play uh, a little game of what we call more or less and NFL predictions. We'll start off Peter, Would you like to get us underway? Uh, do you think Matt Forte will have more or less 1,500 yards from scrimmage? I'm going to say more. I mean, total yards, he can catch out of the backfield. Um, I think definitely that he'll have trouble getting the touchdowns. I mean, he had trouble with Marion Barber last year. Marion Barber stole some of his touchdowns, but I think Michael Bush is even better than Marion Barber, so I think he'll have less touchdowns. It's not a great season uh, for Matt Forte, but I think he'll still have a lot of yards, so I guess a pretty good season, actually. I'm going to have to go with just right around there, not too many more, not too, not too many less. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Jay Cutler, but if he can stay healthy the whole year and the uh, offense of the Bears is churning well, he could probably get a little more than 1,500 yards. Uh, I'd go more. I'd go a lot more now because there won't be as many people covering Forte because they have another threat with Brandon Marshall. Jay Cutler is a top 10 quarterback, which helps. And they, and they help their offense line a little bit, and I think that will help Matt Forte with the arts. All right, the next one. Will Tony Romo have 30 or 30 passing touchdowns, more or less, Dan? Tony Romo, I'm going to have to say more. I think this is Tony Romo's breakout year. I think he's going to go, he's definitely going to make it past the first round of the playoffs, maybe not much farther because the NFC is such a tough division, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I say I say more. Um, he, I, I say probably around like 38, 40. I think it's gonna be a great year for Tony. 40 Romo. touchdowns. Yeah, I think Tony Romo. Yeah, Tony Romo does really well this season. I have to completely agree here. I think Miles Austin could be one of the biggest comeback players of the year after his hamstring injury last year. So, and if Des Bryant can stay uh, on the field better with his off the field issues, he can just keep up his game. I think Romo could just have much more than 30. I'm going to go less because when you think about it, what did the Cowboys do to bolster their offense? I mean, does Brian just get DUI? Is that going to affect, like, suspensions? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think Miles Austin's what, back. What they do? Is healthy. What they do to, like, yeah, they're just, they just Romo they, they had 31 much. and 10 last year. I think he's no, only but, getting better. But how can they get better if the guy tears his ACL? If uh, DeMarco Murray tears his ACL, does that make the offense better? Well, we can only wait and see today with my colleagues, Peter Van Seventer and Dan O'Connell. We'll see you later, folks.